Hello and welcome everyone, I am Manic Mink, this is Defense Grid 2, and uh, we're going to be playing it. Defense Grid, tower defense game, is was probably one of my favorite tower defense games, and I have, I have a legitimate problem with tower defense games. I am addicted to them. They are wonderful, and I like them, and especially good ones, uh, which I hope Defense Grid 2 will be, because as I said, I like the original a lot, uh, and kickstarted the second one, and it's just come out, so... Let's Welcome get back. let's get to playing. It's been too long. Oh, announcer guy. Uh, so let's start with the prologue. Sure. Own story. Yes. Um. Sure. I don't know. Command team. I don't really know what that is. Uh, greetings, Commander. The, this message is on repeat. Please assist. I was taken captive during a raid on my, uh, power cores. I am enclosing a tight burst encryption with the location of my captivity. We've been trying to hold them off, but my AI colleagues lack the military expertise you and General Fletcher have demonstrated building defenses. Our overall situation is grim. I'm not sure when your ship will come into transmission range of the colonies, but my captors believe you to be close. Please hurry and release me. Perhaps with your help, we can hope to repel the invaders. Hope we haven't felt that in such a long time. Uh, but since reports indicate you may also have General Kai and Commander Simon with you, well, perhaps uh, hope will be possible once again. First, though, get me off this asteroid and back to my colony. I must protect them. Uh, so, I, I believe this is from our AI compatriot. Um, in the original game, you're guided by sort of a funny sort of Stanley Parable-esque AI who, you know, explains you... It explains to you how to do everything. I'm glad you're feeling up to testing your skills go. once again. I know I am. As always, I'm here to assist you, Commander. Okay, so that is our uh, AI need. companion. Shall we ever run into those motherless aliens again? Let's start with a few tower types and simulated invaders. We'll build towers to protect our virtual cores from being stolen, just to get the rust off the blade, eh? Okay. Uh, so use mouse to pan your view. Yeah, we did that. Um, zoom in and out. That's nice. Uh, this is just sort of telling us, uh, I guess at first, about controls and stuff. Uh, cursor turns blue on a tower door where towers can be built. So you can build a tower. Um, okay, left click to build. I will build a gun tower there. See, it pops up out of the ground. There we go. Machine gun tower. Gun tower is moderately effective against all alien types. Yep. Um, I'd like to build an inferno tower. Towers are invincible, have unlimited ammo. You can place as many as you want, as long as you have the resources. Resources are shown in the upper left, so we have 620 at the moment. You'll recall the gun tower. Continuous firing. Decent range. A great all-around tower. Then there is the Inferno Tower. A swath of destruction good against large groups of densely packed enemies. Different towers also have different ranges of destruction. Watch that there. closely when you place them. See, so this does AoE damage. It's good against uh, lots of small units, swarms and stuff. Again, all fairly straightforward, fairly standard to begin with. Uh, not going to throw anything too difficult at you in the tutorial. As you recall, towers cost resources to build. You'll gain the resources you need over time. Once you have enough, you can build a new tower on an available build square, no. or you can perhaps upgrade an existing tower. Uh, which is what I will do. There we go, you see now it's a little bit bigger, has a bit bigger machine gun on it. Uh, and you can see this one will have a bigger flamethrower. Should the aliens make it to the core housing, they'll steal one or more cores and try to escape. Destroy the aliens before they escape, and I can pull the cores back toward the housing. 
if we to run highest the level. Gun tower. Shuts down. Don't let that happen. There we go. See, now you can see it's a lot bigger than it was before. You can just notice the, the higher rate of fire there, which is nice. Flame turret as well. You can place some towers in locations where the aliens would normally march through. Yes, yeah, if you do, better as well. the tower will actually block the aliens' path, and they'll choose a different route. It can That's be what we did here. The aliens, uh, you can see if you send them closer to your other towers. Their path came around here, and, and it just went through the, the middle. Take a lengthier path. Your nearby towers can attack them for a longer period and do greater damage. Uh, and then over here, we built a tower, and it forced them to walk around the other way. So we could also build another one, say right there, and it'll force them to move around here again. We don't probably need that, though, as you can see just how powerful these turrets are. So we'll just sell it, because we didn't really need it to begin with. Go upgrade that Excuse to a red me. tower. I know this is just a simulation, but are you sure that's the best place to put that tower? Yes. I'm no, sure it's the best problem. place. It's a perfectly good place for a tower, Kai. Um, Relax, Fletcher. We just always need to push the commander. It's uh, easy one of my favorites um, training. is uh, sure they had an expansion for defense grid. Which uh, why would we? Which was well, actually GLaDOS. It was all portal now, stuff, and it was hilarious. Well, um, because she basically made fun of you the like this. About our orbital laser? No, I don't know uh, orbital laser. Cool. As General Kai points out, you can fire your special weapon periodically during the attack. Once used, it does take some time to recharge, however. I'd like to know how I do that. Feel free to give our simulated orbital laser a try. You'll be quite pleased with how the vermin fall to its wrath. Okay, how to orbital laser. Press and hold L to fire a special weapon. Okay. Holy crap. That's nice. Excellent, Commander. Well um, done. Can I see charge? Okay, the charge for lasers reporting. in the upper. We're coming upper to an asteroid belt just outside the colonies. I know we're close to our destination, but I want to check something out. The scanners picked up a tight burst encrypted signal that I'd feel better looking into. He's a diligent lad, isn't he? I've trained him since he was a private. Excellent work. I like to also think I've had some influence on the commander, which is why I know we're ready for anything. Okay, so we did good. Uh, let us go to... Got a bunch of achievements now. Uh, scans reveal walkers and swarmers here uh, have, as have inf infiltrated this asteroid mine. Gun, inferno, and cannon towers are available. Okay, so there's a bunch of, you know, you can't limited towers, you can't upgrade towers power outage. Um, so let's, we'll, we'll stick to the story, just because, um, you know, we'll, we're doing the story first. Uh, enables orbital laser special weapon. An energy beam of white hot destruction. Okay, so we'll stick with that. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, I'd, uh, a formicant spoke to me. As I record this, I am still in shock. It makes as much sense as a day flower blooming in second winter. Uh, at the first contact, the first touch, I thought I had experienced the schism of mind. You hear of such things. Captains go too deep into the void and interpret the silence as voices. Yet, as the thing spoke, it became clear that I was not, uh, that I had not schismed. Uh, I did not respond. My training has me scout first in new terrain, so I was silent and observant. Uh, and observed. What is troubling? Uh, what is troubling? And I laugh at the idea that anything can be more troubling than a formicant that speaks how clearly we have underestimated the formicants of this world. This changes all. I wonder if the decision to remain silent was correct. Might I have been a more effective scout if I had answered? I must drop into the void, I think, and seek the answer. Um, so the formicants are the, the bug creatures Command that we are shuttle. actually killing. Seems like an asteroid mining facility. After a long trip, even this place looks good. Indeed. We're landing the command shuttle Raffaella now. We'll connect to the grid as we isolate the signal. That's our command ship, apparently. It's actually a level four distress call. Precisely the same distress level as my mother-in-law arriving unannounced. You really think you should be joking when someone's in trouble? Oh, God. The queen's so serious. The has kept me sane on this long journey of ours, Kai. Well, relatively sane. 
I'm not sure the commander would agree. Uh, Wait, let's go. oh no. I see the recon too. Damn. Years of deep space travel and the aliens still beat us. Can we fight um, them here? I will go cannon tower there Change as well. Systems. I can bring three tower types online immediately. Gun, inferno, and cannon towers. Precisely. Build another gun tower there. Prepare for invasion. I love these cannon towers. Here they come. They're Come like big uh, artillery pieces almost. Except for not really artillery pieces at all, I suppose. Uh, now, I don't remember what the speed up the waves button is, but if I figured that out, I would build a cannon tower there just to force them to go around the long way. Okay. Uh, it's 400 to upgrade. 200 to upgrade. I'll probably upgrade this one. Because, again, you know, with all tower defense things, you kind of want to have as much area covered. So, like, this will be shooting from here all the way to here. So, this one, the same thing. So, either one of those. I did not remember that they could not fire directly next to it. That's okay, though. Hopefully kill most of these guys before we even get close to it. Upgrade that one as well. Try to get our gun turrets up first. Uh, so as you can see up th up at the top, the waves. So wave uh, three here will have mostly small people and one big, or you know, and some larger guys. And you can see those are the larger guys there. Those are ones that you want to, you know, use cannons on, kind of thing. I think I should be doing okay. To say it, but it feels good to battle aliens once again. Yeah, it does. But no shame here. Nothing better than taking one of them off the board. Second that, good to fight with all of you again. You're doing great. It is indeed. After all this space travel, I expect chasing other aliens feels especially good. Yeah, definitely. Be really nice to go for a run, too. Try not running for about a thousand years, or for that matter, breathing or taking a bath. Kill that one. Thanks so much for bringing this up. Hey, you asked me. Whatever. Okay, we got a bit better, a uh, bit better stuff going on. Hopefully that should allow us to. Uh, you aren't really in the best place, are you? So this will be another wave of small guys and big guys. Um, love to build an inferno tower there just to try and damage some of these smaller guys at least. 800, 400, and 300. Okay. Probably should sell that and then put a tower there. Um, I'm not gonna do that. Put the tower there and force.
force them to go around the long way, I think that'll be a lot Maybe better. They haven't made it to the colonies yet. <sighs> An artificial intelligence can always dream. If they haven't made it to the colonies, then we need to make sure the bastards never do. You're right. right. Fire we tower there. And win. Got everybody here. Ah, uh, no, they're gonna grab some. Ah, uh, my perfect record. No! I mean, they didn't actually take any of them, but they did take them enough to uh, cause me some headaches, at least. Get you up to the highest level as well, and probably you up to a higher level. There we go. Oh, look at that. That's a cannon tower now. I'm talking about cannon tower. Oh. Uh, so yeah, you know, we won't, um, we, you know, we didn't lose any cores, but, you know, you get better score if you, if you don't let them touch it all, at all, obviously. Definitely. Okay, next wave should be coming in. Should help out a lot, I think. See, ideally, what I'd love to do is put like gun tower here, gun tower here, and a slowing tower so, here to just guy, slow everybody. Simon was complaining to me about missing a run, I believe it was. Seriously, what's up with that? Try being a freaking AI. Uh, wait a minute, that's not what I said. I don't think he could manage it for ten minutes. Can you imagine his Up first you. system to frag? <laughs> so you're, uh, you're, you're friends, sort of. Okay, fine. I'm now scratching my back. Chat and stuff while That's you're, while you're fighting. Blow, Simon. Back to business at hand. Six hundred I'd love to do. Uh... Be a lot easier with two uh, two big cannon towers. Hell of a range, huh? I'll put another cannon tower there because I think we're probably going to get a lot of uh, a lot of what do you call them? Uh, big guys, it looks like. Okay, that's fine.
please upgrade you. Well, upgrade you, I suppose. That you 200, I'll upgrade you, I guess, may as well. I hurt. So, yeah, basically, you go through all these waves, and there's different challenges and stuff afterwards, uh, you know, sort of advanced. advanced challenges for you if you need them or you want them. That wave. Love to uh, upgrade this tower. I can't actually shoot at them. Ah, F speeds up things. There we go. Oh. Okay, you don't have to hold F, you just can press it. The game automatically saves the checkpoints. It's basically, this is all still just sort of tutorial information about the game and, you know, how to do it and what to do with it. What the hell? Jeez. Um, I sort of want to... Upgrade again. Let you continue to fight through these guys. I think we have enough now to actually finish out a lot of these waves, but I'd like to get a few more just to be sure. another cannon tower there, just because you can actually hit things over that way. Go, kill them. Uh, and now we only have these last few, and then I think we are done. Go. Well done, Commander. I think that's the last of them. Fletcher, I have a lock on the distress signal. Finally. Shall we head that way, Commander? So we did good. I we protected we all our cores. We have, uh... Hi. Are you alright? I'm fine. There's no one I'd rather fight aliens with. Okay. But... If the aliens are here, they probably beat us to the human planets. This okay, we also... Oh, come on. 
Stop talking. I can't say I'm optimistic, Simon, but one thing at a time. Our first order of business is finding that distress beacon. Shall we, Commander? Uh, so we also got a new, a new uh, tower, Scattershot Tower, inflicts degree cone of damage to a target area. I think it's like a grenade launcher, if I remember correctly. Okay, so uh, th that was the first two missions, sort of the introduction. Uh, we will we will pick this up next time. I am Magmink. This is Defense Grid 2. If you guys like it, if you want to see more, uh, like, comment, all that good stuff, let me know what you think. I love tower defense games. I'm probably going to be playing through this either in my spare time or with you guys. Uh, so, yeah, just let me know. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Take care.